Hey, family. Much love to you all. Just checking in. You know how you're supposed to do. Well, today, you know, I was just checking out YouTube. And I am subscribed to Gossip Girl XOXO, okay? And Gossip Girl um, had uploaded this video about this young lady right here, okay? I don't know how old she is, but she is young, probably her early 20s. And she is a single mom, and she has a young son who's five years old, okay? And when y'all get a chance, and actually go to my community section, you can click on the link, okay, family? You can click on the link, and um, you can see what I'm talking about, okay? Watch it for yourself, for those who choose to watch. I'm going to call this video, um, Why Use, Why we should use our discernment part two. I did, I did a part one, okay, family? I did a part one, and this is pretty much an example of what I was talking about. I see this all the time, okay? This could have been me, you know, but thanks be to the Most High God for we can meet up, okay? For shaking a sister up, let me just say that, all right? But as I stated, this young woman, okay, she's a single mom, and she got involved with this joker right here okay she got involved this joker right here and this joker you know um she, she really let her guard down she didn't really know him as well that she, she didn't know him as well as she thought she did okay let me just say that okay um you know when it comes to us ladies you know Due to not operating in discernment, we go by the looks, okay? And I'm sure this man, I think he's a rapper, so you have to look at all of that Why women, you know, choose to get with people for whatever reason. Let me just say that, but I'm sure, you know, um, he had it going on financially, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, he probably came off in a way um, to her, you know, okay, I got this baller, you know, or whatever the case may be. Anyway, the point being is she got involved with this dude right here, okay, that she trusted around her child, all right? And come to find out, her son was having issues, you know, as far as um, going, when it comes to his, you know, going to the bathroom, he was doing it in his pants, okay? Some children, you know, when they're dealing with molestation, okay, uh, it shows in all kind of ways, but one of the ways is they pee in the bed, you know? Um, her son was um, doing number two, okay, in his pants, and she could not put her hands on it, all right? And she said she always, you know, she never doubted her son. You know, he finally told her the truth. You know, this is what it is. You know, it's your so-called boyfriend, okay, that was um, touching him, okay, violating him, this baby, okay? She stood by her child. So I say kudos for her because a lot of females, you know, this will cut up in the man, you know, they put that man before the child, but a lot of females would not have stood up for their children. And by her being young, you know, I respect the sister for speaking up, speaking out, and putting her child first, okay? But anyway, right now she's trying to fight the good fight, trying to get justice for her son, and I pray she do get it. And you know what? A lot of people, of course, come down on his sister for whatever reason, by sensing the spirit, you know, her son is not lying, and this joker right here, he got some issues. He got some issues, and she kept saying to herself, if only I knew, if only I knew, if only I picked up on the signs. Well, at the end of the day, that's why it's so important for us ladies, okay, even you, my brothers, who have children, to operate in discernment, okay? It is so important to operate in discernment because the spirit, the living God that is within us has our best interests, okay? And when we are operating in discernment, okay, it will stop the joker at the door. Now, it is up to you when the spirit is telling you, don't let him in. Hell, don't even answer the phone. Okay? Hell, don't even give them your phone number. Let me just say that. But when, when we heed, when we heed the spirit family, stuff like this won't happen. Okay? I advise my brothers, my sister, put the spiritual work in. It is so rewarding. It can be such a blessing to you. And it can protect you. Let me just say that. Now, I'm not going to make this video that long. What I'm doing, like I always do, I sow seeds of love. That's what I do, family, okay? I sow seeds of love. 
And my offer still stands for anyone who ever thinking about investing in their heart. Okay? Please have one of these spiritual background readings done. Okay? It is so important. Because your sister, I'm single, and you know what? Don't nobody wants to be alone. Even the words say it's not good for men to be alone. But at times that we're living in family, we have to put ourselves first. We have to love ourselves, okay? And definitely heed the spirit. A lot of times the spirit tells us to get ourselves together and also be still, okay? Be still. It's a reason for it. Let people get themselves together. While you're healing and you're getting your mind right, okay, you're focusing on yourself, loving yourself. Whomever God has for you, they're working on themselves too, okay? Just like you have issues, okay, and, and, and you're working through them. Whoever the most high God has for you, they're working on their issues as well. But, it's, but the queen that you are, when, when God is ready to reveal that person to you, okay, they're going to get somebody that's whole, healed, okay? As well as for you, my brothers, it goes both ways. Okay, when you get yourself together, okay, that queen's going to be revealed to you, and you would know it. Now, real quick, real quick, I'm going to tell you some of the main things that I look for, okay? And just because I'm saying this, I'm not looking. Oh, no, I'm not looking. I'm just letting you know, family, okay? Due to the fact that your sister, I've been putting the work in, okay? And it is a daily Walk, let me just say that, okay? It's like when I accomplish something, I, it's like check, okay? And then the most I got reveal other things that I need to work on, all right? As I stated, it is a process. But the main thing, is start, it starts with us and it ends with us, and that's first love, okay? When we have love for ourselves, we can have love for others. Now, the main things I look for, most importantly, family, is do that person have a relationship with God. Okay? That is so important. That is so important because I have a relationship. Okay? I want to be with one who is equally yoked with me. Let me just say that. And we as women should want this also. It's so important. Don't you want someone that you have something in common with? Just saying. I look for, are they transparent, genuine, trustworthy, truthful? Okay? Those are really the main things that I look for. Transparent. Transparent. That's right. This person is not wearing a mask. Okay? What you see is what you get. They're transparent. They're authentic. Okay? Genuine, okay? They are genuine. They're not fake. Trustworthy, okay? You can count on them. They mean what they say and say what they mean. How about that? Truthful. When the Spirit is revealing these things about the, the wonderful qualities in the individual family... This is what we should look for, but this is the spirit revealing these things. These are the hidden things about people that normally you wouldn't really know about them unless you've been with them for a while, okay? And then their traits, you know, start coming out. But it's one thing to assume and guess. We can all assume and guess, but to be led by the spirit, you get to that place of knowing, okay? It's a difference. These are the things that we should really be looking for as far as qualities in an individual. Oh, your sister, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. When I'm doing so-called um, readings and using the radiant deck on my sisters that's acquiring about an individual that they're interested in, oh, yeah, these are the cards you want to see. Please know that. It's the individual faithful. The spirit will reveal these qualities about the person, male or female. Okay? This is what you want to see. Devoted. 
That's right. This is what you want to see. Are they healed? Okay? From those past uh, traumas. Okay? From childhood all the way up. Okay? Due to relations that they were in before they even met you. This is what you want to see. This is the one who's put the work in. Okay? And it's been a process. But they love themselves enough to own their shit. Face it and heal, okay? Not put a Band-Aid on it. This is what you want to see, my sisters. This is what you want to see, my brothers. The Spirit will reveal it. Invest it. And I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about someone who will invest in you. Putting you as the prize. Putting you first, okay? Invest it in a relationship. This is what you want to see. Do this individual possess these qualities? Mm-hmm. Emotionally available. Yeah. That's a big one. Or is this somebody you have to try to chase just to get them to notice you? To get them to really hear you? This says emotionally available. Okay? They take time to hear you out. Okay? They care about how you feel. They listen. They're there for you. They're open. And most importantly, grounded. Uh, you want somebody who's balanced. Okay? You want somebody who's balanced. Not all over the place. Okay? You want somebody who's balanced, mentally, emotional, and spiritual. There must be balance. And when one of them are off, this is what you get. And unfortunately, you won't know which one it is that they're unbalanced, okay? It's either their emotions, you know, their mental state, or they're just empty on the inside. You know, they're lacking, you know, they're not, they're putting other things before the spirit. You want them like this, all right? Grounded. And lastly, awaken. Just let you know they're spiritual, okay? They're tapping in. Okay, they're having similar experiences as you are. Y'all have a lot in common. Okay, you can imagine those talks that you and this person can have with each other, sharing your experiences. All right, making love to each other's mind. Okay, concerning the things of the heart that really matters to you both. Okay, not just sitting around talking about football, not just sitting around talking about soap operas, not just sitting around talking about. What? Celebrities. A bunch of nothing. But the things that matter, okay? Concerning the spirit. Anyway, I just wanted to share this because I do care. Because please know this is what I look for. And I'm always led by the spirit. Please know that. And when you are led by the spirit, let me just say that you're not going to let... No, anybody get too close to you because the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. Please know that. And it can use anybody. Okay? Even family members. Okay? If they are low vibrational. Okay? This is what you're looking for. Someone who's transparent. If someone wanted me to do a, uh, this type of reading family, I don't call it a spiritual background. If you're not seeing these cards pop up, and there are others, oh, there are others. But if you're not seeing this concerning the individual, transparent, okay, awaken, at least, at least you know they're spiritual, okay, grounded, they are balanced, emotionally available, okay, you know, you don't have to worry about chasing them down, you know, trying to get their attention. They are there for you, okay, emotionally available, Who is, who's invested, okay, who's healed, not broken, not someone who's uh, still carrying a baggage, emotional baggage, longing for someone that ain't even for their highest good, okay, still dealing with someone that ain't for their highest good, they can't heal, okay, they're still in a... In a a roller coaster going in circles, okay? And if 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 you get this right here, I say run. Hello. If you get this here, I say run. That's upside down, okay? If this right here, if you get this right here, what what you gonna talk about?
y'all, y'all should at least have this in common, okay? If, if you're equally yoked, okay? If you're vibrating on the same frequency, <laughs> grounded, okay? They unbalanced. Uh, whoa, whoa. Emotionally available. They're not emotionally available. You just talking and then shit going to one ear, not the other. Come on, man. Invested. They're not even invested in you. So you, you know what that means. <laughs> oh my gosh. They do not see you as long term. Hello. Hello. Healed. They, they're not healed. Okay. You with this individual and they're still going through the motion of the past. Okay. They haven't gotten off the emotional roller coaster of an ex or whomever that they just got through fooling with. All right. Devoted. Oh, they're not even devoted to you. Please. I'm sure this is this would but and if it's like this, you're dealing with, with the entanglement, okay? You think it's just you you too, but it's it's a, it's a third party that's <clears throat> on the side somewhere. This right here, oh my goodness. Faithful, please. Look at that. This is what you don't want to say. Truthful. Joker. Joker full of lies. Tell you what you want to hear. Trustworthy. Man, you can't even. The words come out of their mouth are just words, empty words. Let me just say that. And genuine, nah. They ain't been true to thyself. And they definitely have knowledge of self. So anyway, I just wanted to share these right here. I know it can help somebody. Lord knows, me being led by the Spirit, it definitely helps me. Please know that I do not make a move without meditating and being led by the Spirit. All right? Because I definitely put the Most High God first to order my steps, okay? And um, as far as us moving without putting God first, family, I tell you, um, <laughs> that's really a wide path to destruction. Please know that. And it's okay to ask for help, all right? Call on those angels, dispatch those angels. You know, ask your spirit guides to help you. Even you want to, you know, ask your ancestors, okay? But the main thing is go within yourself. Pray, okay? It's time for you to tap in, okay? It's time for you to get in tune with your intuition. It's a spiritual muscle. You got to, you know, strengthen it. You don't, how they say you lose, if, uh, if you don't use it, you lose it, okay? And I truly feel like it'll still be there, but it'd be so weak. Okay, it'd be so weak. It'd be hard to for you to really decipher what's real and what's not. Let me just say that this this right here, you have to really, you know, uh, exercise it. Okay, like anything you do. But anyway, family, this is what your sister looked for. Okay, what you look for is what you look for. But if 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 none of this right here is an equation. Uh, good luck, and please be mindful of your children. Our children come first, okay? These babies, you know, not only do we provide, but we definitely protect them. Be mindful of these jokers out here, family, okay? Because children are being affected by the decision of their parents, okay? Due to ignorance. And like this was saying, I didn't know, I didn't know. And you know something, you're right, she didn't know. And she did say she was distracted, too. Okay, that plays a big part. Being all caught up in somebody and, you know, not knowing the person's true intentions. Well, this is what you get. A un unbalanced individual. A snake in your present. Dark individuals that wants to sabotage you, okay? Hell, they're they not even damn faithful. All right? Come on. They're not even truthful. Telling you what the hell you want to hear. Ain't you getting tired of that, sisters? Aren't you getting tired of that? Don't take my word for it. Hell, at least listen to your intuition. We all have that. It's something that needs to be strengthened, okay? It needs to be strengthened. So anyway, my brothers, you want somebody to be fully invested in you? My sisters, you want somebody to be truly invested in you? How about... <laughs> It starts with you and it ends with you. How about you invest in yourself? Peace.